Hello and welcome back to the Vintage Unicorn Beauty Makeup and Etc. Today I decided to do kind of a weird crazy tutorial to counter the last one which didn't turn out so well. So this is kind of an intentional crazy mess. What I did was I sort of recreated the spellbinding look but I also did my drawn on lashes only way to the extreme. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Leave a comment. My Instagram information is linked down below and enjoy the video so foundation is on lock and I am working on my brows using the 24-hour brow lock that I used previously only this time I'm not gonna ruin it because I'm using the brush that is actually intended to be used with this product I always used to think that was more of a marketing gimmick than anything else but in this case I don't think it is this is a very high quality uh, brow brush and just because of how creamy the 24-hour brow lock formula is it's unlike anything I've ever used before. So right now what I'm doing, I built in a rough geometric shape and the trick that I'm using is instead of going directly from the brush, I almost pat off the extra. And that's when it becomes a more workable pomade for filling in, similar to the ABH or you know any other brow pomade. Ulta makes a really nice brow pomade that is kind of reminiscent of this, but I have to say this Kat Von D brow product is incredible. I have four of them right now. I have the walnut, I have the red, I have the bleach, and then I have the green. And goodness, they are just so versatile. Now I'm probably never going to use the bright colors on my eyebrows. I tried it. It was just not great. You live and you learn. So moving right along, what I want to do next is I want to spoolie through my brows ever so slightly just so that they have a little bit more natural opacity to them. And then I just want to comb them into place. Now on the Kat Von D Beauty tutorial site, they recommend doing that first, but I know that my eyebrows are a little bit different. They are a little funky and I do like it to go darker. I'm noticing on this side, however, the darkness is a little bit too intense on the outer corner. So hopefully I can brow through, blow through the brows. Actually, I think I'm going to apply another coat and then we're going to move on to the eyes. Jumping right on into the Spellbinding palette, I am going to take that same brush and I'm going to apply just a little bit of Fix Plus to it. And I'm going to be digging into Piaf, which is the color we used last time beautiful dark gray and I'm going to coat both sides of the brush and then I'm going to pack and press on the lid forming a half moon shape and I'm going to continue until the opacity is there so it is fairly opaque now with the brush semi dry I'm gonna just go over again and make sure that it is completely infallible on the lid Packing and pressing and making sure that my lines are about right. This side looks a little bigger. And with the same brush just on the very tip, I'm going to follow this just right there. Creating almost a wing, but not really moving the brush very much. Now I want to move to a fluffier blending brush. I usually use very small, precise brushes, but I want this look to be not messy, but... I want it to be a little bit haphazard, a little bit devil may care. And I really like these flat brushes. If I can show you right there, it's fluffy, but it's still flat. So I am going to dig into the color Dark Throne, which is as close to a matte on this palette as I think we're going to get. And I actually got a lot and it won't tap off. So you know what? I'm going to go with it. And I want to start building that crease and start cutting it into the corner and also fluffing it out and blending up. And I'm just gonna continue adding and adding and adding until I have a nice dark rim around the dark shadow. So kind of pressing just for a rough outline and then I'm going to pull out a different blending brush. I always do better on the second eye, I swear, because I'm like timid on the first eye. And I also want to just tuck it a little bit into that outer corner. All right, now using a different domed brush, I really like there. There's a Morphe brush I love. This is a Morphe E23. It's a large kind of flat domed br blending brush. And I am going to 
small circular motions, continue to blend that almost, almost about halfway up the brow bone from the crease. Just so that it's fluffy and it's transitioned and all that. So I'm going to be blending for the next 18 minutes and I don't want you to have to watch me. Now that everything is nice and blended, I am going to be cleaning, but I also want to add just a little bit more color. I'm just loving, I never thought I would love a book entirely made of shimmers. I'm going to take my 321, you can take any densely packed brush, and I am going to spray her a little bit, and voila, I am going to dip into the shade Babe, which is this beautiful purple, and get quite a bit of pigment, and I just want to kind of press that in the outer corner and blend her into Piaf. Ooh, I like it, it's subtle. On camera, it's not showing super well, but in the mirror, it's actually really nice that it's just a little bit of color, but I want you guys to be able to see it. So what I'm going to do is instead use the shade WTF, which is a red, I used it in the last one, and I'm going to build that into the crease so that the, the difference in color kind of shows that purple a little bit more. And I'm just gonna leave it just like that, dump, <laughs> jump back into the purple and swish around That way it's a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more there, because it is quite a sheer shade. Now I will retort that. It is sheer on top of other really dark colors. By itself, it is mwah. So now I'm gonna just blend all this mess together and keep going in that blown out kind of shade I've been blending into. I'm actually gonna hold the brush a little bit lower, just so I can clean up and incorporate so that everything is nicely gradiated. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take it a little bit under there as well. What is that? I don't know. There's something there. I'm not sure what it is. It's okay. And it won't blend away. What is it? Oh well. We're gonna pretend it's not, I can't pretend it's not there. Okay, I think my wing is going there anyway. So let's clean up other things. I'm going to take the Locket Cream Concealer in L7 Warm, and I have to work really quickly with this stuff, especially when you live in the Southwest and it is super dry. And I'm just gonna get that Beauty Blender going and then start cleaning up. All the way under and up. Maybe clean up those stars a little bit, clean up all that. Now my overtone color is super staining, but that is all right. So then again, ugh, move quickly, move quickly, Emma. Everything rests on this. All right, we are cleaned up. And I'm actually gonna rub the remainder of that in some areas I'm having a little bit of trouble that I don't think translucent powder will fix. Just areas where, you know, skin is being skin and you gotta love it because of all the lovely things it does. I think it's the light, because I can't see it in the mirror. I don't know. Anyway, so let's finish up this look with a bang. And by that, of course, I mean huge liner. So with my Lottie London Lights, my Lottie London liner. I love this liner again because no matter what, it's not gonna go dry. I just want to ring my eyes. And I wanna aim for width right in the middle so that it opens the eye. So right there it's thin, and then I'm going to arc just a little to make a little bit more width. Otherwise, I do want a very thin band. And then to do my eyeliner, how I do it literally is draw up and pray. And then I am going to bring her down again and make that an actual shape. I 
I think the trick to liquid liner is confidence. You can't be timid. You can't be like pussyfooting around it. It's gonna go where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna match the other eye, then lights, camera, lashes. Lights, camera, lashes. Only I'm not wearing lashes. What I have done is I took this weird, I actually hate this eyeliner because it doesn't have a brush. It has like this hard, like dagger-like thing. And I literally just pushed it. Oh, now I've gone too far. That's okay. Actually, that's cool. I'm liking that. So I just pushed it along where my natural lashes ended and started building this crazy shape, which is actually kind of cool. So I'm gonna carry that on all the way up the wing, feathering out my winged liner. When you think about eyeliner, it does two things. It accentuates your eye color and it also gives the illusion of fake lashes. So I started thinking, well, I'm gonna do this. And I really like the little like, the patchiness and all that. I love it. I, I really do. I have like this abhorment towards conventional makeup trends. So this is me, this is the look. And that's literally what I did all the way around my eye is I just pushed that liner up against it. It's a hot mess, but I love it. I am absolutely here for it. In fact, what I wanna do is sharpen the tip of my liner itself so that, on this side at least, so that it's obviously the leader of the pack, the queen. Very detailed here. There we go, matchstick. And I'm going to dramatically over contour. Now I'm gonna blend that in with a small brush so that I can kind of dictate the opacity and that'll just turn it into a, I like the matchsticks, they have like a cream to powder formula. It's really interesting how it works. So that now that is extremely over contoured, I can now go back with a powder contour and which brush? Let's use this guy. This is a nice one. I am going to use this brush and the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and I'm going to properly contour everything, but underneath it is going to be that cool tone contour kind of sticking to everything. Also, doing this with the very tip picks up a lot of that cream. I love it when the music picks up when I'm doing stuff like this. I'm like, yeah, do it. Okay. I love the crazy look. I just, I'm, I really do. And what would be better than my fard ombre, my NYX ombre blush. I love my fard ombre. It really does say that. Okay, so I'm going to take just a generic blush brush and I'm going to actually utilize the ombre effect. And by doing so, I'm just going to brush around. Ooh, look, there's me. Hi. <laughs> I am going to, so the top of the brush picked up the lighter color, the bottom of the brush picked up the darker color. And I'm going to do so again in the fard ombre by rubbing the brush like that and going in. Ooh, picked up way too much dark right there, but that's okay. So it almost gives this like matte highlight right above it. Ooh, that is a big mess up right there. Let's blend her out, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm actually gonna leave lips blank today. I really am. I feel like there's enough going on on the face. I'm going to finish off with some Locket finishing powder real, real quick. And then I'm gonna be done. I am very happy with this crazy as fuck look. Japanesque sponge, I'm kind of loving it. And I'm picking up the Locket setting powder and I'm just covering up some of the excess. Now this finishing powder is insane because I swear it has the opacity of a foundation. It really does. Just looking at it cover up like the red and stuff that's hanging out. Yeah, that's happening. All right. Also, it stays put for good. So in this beautiful little container, very nice product. I am super excited about the new Kat Von D releases. It's something that is very much on my mind. And you know what that means. I am 
definitely thinking that the next giveaway has to go back to Kat Von D. Otherwise, the Jeffree Star giveaway is going strong. So please remember to subscribe, like, leave comments, all that kind of stuff. I love hearing from you guys. I just absolutely adore it. I understand my looks aren't for everyone, but I hope you guys at least enjoyed the humor, the music, if you can hear it, and you know, me. So comment below and subscribe and all that good stuff. Get in on the giveaway, Jeffree Star, two palettes and the Equality Liquid Lipstick Set. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.